Ford postpones a hotter Fusion, a new Roadster could be in the works from Audi, and we show off our first entry from Car Domain's virtual warehouse of Reader's Rides. What's up, everybody? Um, wait a second. Something looks a little different around here. Looks like we got some new graphics here at Fastlane Deli. And if you notice, I'm in widescreen and it's a little bigger. Also, if you notice down there, the feed is posted directly on the front of the page so you could submit anything you want and hey, we might talk about it. Also, you could create profiles, tons and tons of cool stuff, plus we're faster. I don't know what that means. The tech guys just told us we were faster. So it's Fastlane Daily, even faster Fastlane Daily, fast and fresh every day. I'm Derek D and this is Fastlane Daily. Let's go down to Van Watch 2008. Are you there? Van Watch 2008. Here we are, day 37. Back to you, Derek. Yes, the van is still there. Cool. Just the bad things I've heard about it. Today, I'm going to show you Linda's Mohammed. Well, that looked pretty simple. Okay. I'm actually blown away. I'm thinking I'd like to have this. Actually, this is Vista. Really? You know that Ford midsize sedan named after the process by which multiple like charged atomic nuclei join together to form a heavier nucleus? Yes, it's the Fusion. Motor Trend reports a faster, more powerful Fusion GT is still in the pipeline, but it's been delayed until 2012. That's when Ford will reportedly be launching a new Fusion built on the European Mondeo platform. Motor Trend says 340 horsepower Fusion GT will get a choice power plant pulled from Ford's new EcoBoost line of turbocharged direct injection engines. MT also reports the Fusion GT will be joined by a hotter version of the larger Taurus. Yes kids, that's a revival of the Taurus SHO. Insiders say the SHO could get in the neighborhood of 400 horsepower when it arrives sometime in 2012. And even with all the talk about electric cars from GM, Toyota, and of course, this little guy, a couple of dark horses may be emerging. Chrysler says it's got its own plug-in hybrid in the pipeline. Even more shocking, hi -oh, get it, shocking, plug-in, is an entry from Italian design firm Pininfarina. It's the Blue Car, an electric car joint project with French firm Bolloré. Reuters this week debunked rumors the project was canceled after the death of CEO Andrea Pininfarina. But one Bolloré executive says the French company will start taking orders for the blue car by mid-2009. No details yet on the new EV, but insiders say we could see a concept version emerge at the Paris Auto Show next month. And if you hate to drive, love the water, and have more money than, say, this guy, you could still have a Porsche. Porsche Design recently inked a deal with Singapore yacht builder Royal Falcon Fleet. The German design firm will pen a series of luxury catamarans and mega yachts. The company released a sketch of what a typical Porsche design catamaran would look like. That debunks this earlier spy shot of a Porsche yacht prototype. Cool. Next up, a new roadster from VW Audi. Psha, that's in the internet rumor mill right after this. Man, this looks cool. Welcome to TechZilla. I'm your host, Patrick Gordon. And I'm Veronica Belmont. Will our badass monster gaming PC boot? I've heard a little bit about belt and direct drive. You're Thank just you. getting audio nerdy on us, which yeah. I'm totally fine with. Dun, dun, dun! Hey, do you got something to say? Well, if you do, send us an email at tips at fastlanedaily.com. Want to send me something? You can go ahead and send me an email at derekd at fastlanedaily.com. And if you have a forum thread or a news story you want us to know about, submit it to the feed now on FastLaneDaily.com. Now to this week's FLD Virtual Garage. Each week, we'll be featuring a notable ride straight from the digital garages of car domain. This week's ride proves there's a gearhead for every car, even an early 1980s crap wagon. Dwayne claims to be the original owner of this 1981 Chevrolet Citation. Not satisfied with the original sluggish performance, Dwayne decided to launch Project X. The mission? To make the Citation not suck. Under the hood is a 3.1 liter twin turbocharged V6 fitted with a nitrous bottle. It's also gotten a kind of GM transfusion, with parts lifted from the Buick Grand National, the Oldsmobile Cutlass, and Pontiac's Grand Prix. Talk about beating the odds. Good job, Dwayne. And remember, if you want your ride featured on FLD, just go over to cardomain.com, set up a member account, and post your ride. It's mad simple. Another day, another rumor mill. Another roadster from VW Audi. 
Word today comes from the UK's car magazine. Audi is working up a mid-engine sibling to the company's R8 supercar. Car says it'll be called the R3. Insiders say the R3 project replaced a similar but larger platform car dubbed R4. The Mazda MX-5 competitors are reportedly a joint project with parent Volkswagen. And the first look at the R3 may arrive wearing a VW badge. Last month, we reported Volkswagen will show a concept version of a similar Roadster at the Los Angeles Auto Show later on this year. Insiders say both cars will be as light as a Lotus Elise, sharing an aluminum space frame chassis, a mid-engine, rear-wheel drive layout, and engines including Audi's next 2-liter TFSI. Car says the Audi R3 could hit dealerships within five years. Well, that wraps up Fastlane Daily for today. I'm prepared for all the comments about my hideous shirt. I'm Derek D, and happy hump day, everybody.